Hello, this is Brian from Task. The name of this web tutorial is Using Groups for Attendance Entry. The goal of this web tutorial is to walk elementary providers through the process of creating, setting up, and taking attendance using groups. Groups are not permitted for Sonic RTHS level programs. Both levels should take attendance by activity. In order to take attendance by group as an elementary provider, your program needs to follow the format of classes all traveling together to all their activities. If this is true for your program, then you may move forward with creating groups. Groups are valuable to programs running this format as they expedite attendance entry by sorting participants and their activities together so that attendance has to only be taken once for each participant in their group attendance roster. Let's go through the process together. The way to create a group is to click on the group tab and select add new. It will come to a page where you can fill out simple information about your group. If you have a program with multiple groups for each grade, then you're going to want to differentiate between them using a system such as A or B at the end of each grade. When you're creating your group for the grade range, please make sure to select only the grade level or levels that are eligible to join that group. After you create a group, there are three steps to complete prior to the group being ready for attendance entry. The first step is to attach the participants for the group. Group roster creation starts by clicking on the participants tab and then attach participants on the top right hand corner. The grade range will automatically default to whichever grade you assign for your group and all the participants from the group will appear in the list. Click in the box under Assign for each participant to check off that he or she should be a member of the group. When completed, click on the Save and Exit button and you will automatically be brought to a screen that shows your current roster of students you've assigned to the group. Next, click on the Activities tab to develop the schedule for the group. Click on Attach Activities and click off each activity that this group will partake in over the course of the year. Please be mindful to only include activities that the group will attend. Last, if you have a staff member assigned to the group, be sure to link him or her using the staff tab and following the same process as with linking participants and activities. After completing these steps, you are good to go to start taking attendance by group. Let's try a day together. First, I'm going to click on attendance entry, which automatically defaults to the current date. I click on the group I just created, and using my paper attendance record, click off each participant in attendance that day. Click on save and exit to save your attendance and go back to the main attendance screen. To check my work, I see under the attendance collected, that all the participants have attendance collected for the day I just took attendance. Marking a participant present in group attendance entry will automatically mark the participant present for all the activities linked to the group and the participant will be counted as present for that day. To recap, elementary programs can use groups to take attendance if all the participants in each of their classes follows the same schedule. First, the group must be created then information on participants, activities, and staff need to be filled out. Then the group is ready for attendance entry. This concludes my tutorial on using groups to take attendance for elementary providers. Thank you for watching my video.